Hey, welcome to And That's How We Do It. I'm Steve. Hey, I bought some of um, these reusable uh, lids for water jugs. Um, three gallon, five gallon, or um, yeah, like we get them here in Canada, 18.9 liter jugs, which is really about the equivalent of a five gallon uh, jug in the U.S. You know, if you're getting your water at the grocery store, um, you know, you don't really need reusable lids because they're going to supply you with um, a disposable one. But if you're like me and you have a different water source, we have a little town near us called uh, Elmville. And um, it has a natural spring. They built a dispensing station around it completely free. Uh, and the water's just gushing out of the ground. And it's excellent water. It's considered one of the top 10 water sources in Canada. And we happen to live fairly close to it. Um, so we fill up about six jugs at a time and I just didn't want to constantly be buying uh, lids uh, to do that. So I was looking for something that was reusable. I went on to Amazon and I bought a dozen of these for uh, just a little over 12 bucks. So it worked up to just over a dollar a piece for the lids and I figured if I got a few uses out of it, um, you know, that would be good and I wouldn't be buying, um, I wouldn't be buying you know lids constantly so I was really happy with these as far as the seal goes um, I have a rack that I also bought at Amazon for for storing my water bottles and like completely on the side like this or even slightly angled down so it had to have a very good seal so there was absolutely no leakage and these lids really uh, stood up stood up well for that the problem came on the reusable thing because you got to be able to take it off without damaging it and you know if you're watching this video then you know uh that that's not you i was fooled by this little by this little tab here because you know when i looked at it in the picture on amazon i would just be able to pull that and you know pull that lid off and it's not, it's never going to come off there you're going to damage the lid and then it's not reusable anymore so i was a little annoyed by that um i thought well i guess i bought a dozen disposable lids but anyway, I went online, I did what you did, um, see if I could um, find, a, find an answer on YouTube. And uh, I saw a number of, of, of videos that dealt with this, but all the solutions seemed to kind of convoluted. And um, so it didn't really help me. So I, I found a solution myself. It's very simple and it works for me. So I thought I would, would share it with you. Uh, as I said, very simple and it, uh, kitchen spoon, uh, a teaspoon. So uh, uh, let me just adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to nurse that spoon up underneath this flange. Um, and I don't want to go too high because I don't want to damage this. It's just, just the soft part. Uh, don't get up as high as the hard part. In fact, you can do this by pushing about halfway up or maybe three quarters of the way up. Now, I put the back of the spoon against the, the bottle, uh, so the front of the spoon is facing out, and put my thumb in there. So you just nurse that up underneath, about halfway to three quarter. Now I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna pull this spoon towards me, and I'm also gonna twist at the same time. So just put your hand on top, and pull and twist. And that's how we do it. So, you know, um, if you just take a look at this again, um, you can see that it's it, it slightly created a little bit of a, uh, not really damage, but it just um, a ripple around the ridge of the soft part. But, you know, I just even just kind of straighten that out with my thumb. And it, uh, it didn't affect the seal at all. You know, pops right back on. And it's just hard to get off unless you use your little magic magic tool there. Uh, so if you found this helpful, uh, great. Uh, please like my video or uh, subscribe. That's how we do it. Steve.